Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome back to more Terra Invicta, playing as the Resistance. We have been doing a lot of land grabs for our European Union, and I'm currently looking to do the same thing over here with Germany, adding their $4.3 trillion economy into the European Union's 10.8. That's going to be a pretty massive boost for us. Once that's done, I think I'm going to chill out with warfare for a little bit, send the armies back home, and save on some investment points. The idea is, even though I'll we'll have some extra control cap, I would like to spend that by taking over some smaller nations and investing all of their economy into something important like, I don't know, let's say mission control, which actually I'm pretty sure Poland is already getting close to capped out on that. That's interesting, but yeah. Um, remember I said earlier that if you play as a large nation, you have a lot of competing priorities, and it's pretty difficult to focus uh, your budget on one thing in particular. Smaller nations don't have that issue. I may not care about the economy or the science generation of Poland. I can put every dollar they've got into mission control, get that up to its maximum value, then just simply integrate it into the EU, and I get the same old for all effect, but the EU continues chugging along and building up a bigger economy. We ultimately want to do the same thing here with Canada and with Mexico. Actually, taking over Mexico is not even a bad idea. That is something eventually I'm going to be able to add into my North American state. We'll consider that. We are currently working on our mission to Mercury that hopefully we'll be finishing up soon-ish in March. Okay, and we can go ahead and launch our probe and get the heck out there. Also working toward things like the quantum computing so we can start building out some much better research stations, I hope. We do have all the technologies I need to make Mercury effective. We're just waiting on the um, engineering projects to come available. I'm thinking things like nanofactories and operation centers. So far, those have not been a thing. Oh, there's the nanofactory project. Hello. Okay. So that's going to end up being very important for us at some point. Um, the nanofactory is unlocked, I think, at the same time as the construction module with the industrialization of space tech. E yes, it is. It is basically a better version of the construction module. You can use it to build up your modules, including all the way up to tier two, which is important now that I have access to orbitals. However, it is a very, very expensive building. Costs a lot of materials to run, costs a lot of money. It takes an absolute ton of power in order to run, which is why setting up in Mercury, where you're already getting a ridiculous amount of power, ends up being a pretty good deal for you. Also, when they are not actively building things, they make money for you, which is a good way to start building up your cash reserves. So that's going to be important. Another thing that's important is going to be augmented reality tech, which you get very early on. It unlocks the operation center. And the operation center gets you more MC. It's basically space control in space, but also takes a lot of power and is very expensive. And that's where having the nano factories can be kind of nice. If we can set up a bunch of those and get enough materials together, right, in order to uh, sustain quite a few of those stations, we can skyrocket our mission control very, very quickly. At some point, I really need to find a way to get the servants out of power in something like um, Russia and in the UK. I don't like that they have so many nukes and armies, and they're being really aggressive and attacking lots and lots of people still. It's, it's, they're just not calming down. They are not calming down at all. Hey, extra water. That would be kind of nice. Um, yeah, there will come a point in the, uh, I won't say exactly near future, we've got a few years, but at some point, we're gonna wish that the servants had no nukes and no armies, and, oh, they're rivaling Kazakhstan, that's scary, and we're going to wish the U.S. had more armies and more advanced armies, which is why researching a bit more in military is kind of important. By the way, yes, I know these stats are looking bad right now, but that's because in between every phase, our advising stops. And when our advising stops, a lot of these stats go down. Don't worry, it's better than it looks. Aha! We have a new servant in the servants. All right, so I'm back to having full intel of them. I have a good idea what is currently going on. So I know where all of them are. They're trying to do things in Beijing. Okay, they want to take away China. That cannot be allowed to happen, but they're over their points. So cooing them's not too hard. They have very little mission control is the good news. They're not doing much in space. They're mostly just kind of... I don't know, running around and causing havoc on Earth, which is annoying in and of itself, but at least that's not, that's not insane. They are considered to be at war with us. Yeah, if they have an opportunity to mess with us, that's something they absolutely plan on doing. What are some texts I want to get? In preparation for going to Mercury, we do want to get things like the nanofactories for sure. 
Uh, do I have access to the operation center? Yes, I do. Notice, by the way, the Nano Factory takes 40 power. Yeah, very, very expensive to do there. Plus, that's a huge maintenance cost. Operation center is not much better. Cheaper in the uh, resources, but still lots and lots of power, but you do get that mission control. Skunk Works is something I definitely will want to get in Mercury if I can. Um, my understanding is these guys do give you extra science points toward your engineering research, which obviously speeds up all of these. The only reason I haven't built them yet is because I saw on Reddit that apparently if you build these things over Earth, enemy operatives can use them to constantly steal and sabotage your projects. I don't know if it's true, haven't tested it myself, but we obviously don't feel like messing with that. Let's go ahead and start researching the projects we know we're going to be using over Mercury, because we're not that far off. I'm going to get things like the Operation Center up and running. Mission to the Inner Planets is done, Butamus. Alright, with that out of the way, what is the next high priority? Um, settlement Habs probably would be a good one to get. This lets me build Tier 2 Colonies. I definitely want to get some of that. Gah, I keep forgetting all the obvious things. Okay, hang on. We, we haven't even sent a probe to Mercury yet. Let's launch this. It's gonna take 140 days, okay? Not the worst thing I've ever seen. Um, what I might do just to save some time is go ahead and immediately launch an orbital station over here. No one else is currently in orbit. So let's go ahead and take a low Mercury orbit. It's gonna take 197 days to arrive, but that is gonna be fine. 287 boost, that is a lot of boost. Good news, I've got a lot of boosts. So we actually stocked up a pretty good amount. Now, if I wanted to be a lot cheaper, actually, you know what, forget this, a lot faster, much faster option. Launch a smaller platform, build a construction module, upgrade it to a larger thing for faster and cheaper. Yeah, never mind, that's the way to go. So how much power can we realistically be getting over here if I place down, let's say, a solar collector? 67 power. On this teeny dinky little solar collector. It's not even an array. 67 power. Yeah, you can imagine how good this is going to be. Locating right next to the sun turns out very good real estate choice. Let's go ahead and build up that construction module. Get that sucker going. It's going to take a little while to arrive. It will be October, but by the time it does, we can properly start setting up stations all over Mercury and maybe even start mining the planet. Okay, we have taken full control of Germany. I'm now way over my points, and it's losing me a fair bit of influence per day, but that is gonna be fine. So the next thing to do, of course, is to go to Germany, and instead of trying to do the whole coup thing, let's just, let's just break off all their dang relations. And it is time to declare our war on Germany. For like, I don't know, the third time in a century, the French and the Americans are gonna be landing over here in Germany and taking these guys out. Now, unfortunately, getting directly to Berlin is gonna take a second. We could march directly through them. Don't know how well that's gonna work. Now we have to move kind of slowly forward. Can we get to Prague and then get directly up there? There's no point in trying to siege down Hamburg. It's much more important to go directly for the capital because that just ends things, you know what I mean? Oh, found another alien hiding out in Belize this time. Probably want to do something about that. And the Americans have arrived in Berlin. Shouldn't be long now. Enemy contracts in the German Democratic Republic. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The economy got completely obliterated. What the heck happened there? I have no idea. All right, well, either way, we jump up to about 15 billion. I do think we lost a bit of money here in Germany. Not sure why I contracted twice before all of that, but there we go. European Union, looking pretty darn good. Could be better. But it's not bad. 33 mission control is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and airlift all of my American soldiers back home. We are done doing war for a little while. This is a respectable super state. And I'm pretty much at my control cap anyway. So we might as well send them back. I'm pretty sure every army you have, especially if they are deployed overseas, reduces the number of investment points you have to work with. So by sending them back home, I'm hoping we're going to make things a little bit more effective in improving the U.S., has there always been six points in the EU? Was it five before and now it's six because we've grown large enough? I think that might be the case. Which means we actually have another point that I now need to defend and I have to rearrange the whole dang budget. Ugh. Now here's something fun. So with this extra alien discovered over here, um, we're not too far off on getting alien containment. I'm willing to bet you that uh, the next goal after finishing alien containment is going to be to capture one of these dang things, or at least complete an assassination mission and then drag it back 
Something like that. So, uh, if we can just hold off on trying to kill this thing, where'd it go? It's gone! No! Uh, well, no alien to snag, but we figured out how to contain the darn things. Apparently, we have two concentric circles placed the precise center of a larger triangle, and in the detainment chamber, we have multi-stage particulate absorbing filtration systems for no ferrocytes. Also, every corner of the triangle has a guard who can uh, be protected by the other two. Kind of smart, actually. So now we want to capture and hold a live alien. You can imagine, by the way, that we've reached a point. I mean, we did a while ago, but we've definitely reached a point where the different factions and their different goals are going to manifest in different ways in these stories. The servants certainly don't want to capture an alien. But I'll bet you they try to learn their language and reach out to them in some way. Definitely. All right, we have a facility complete. Testing is underway. All we need to find is a new tenant. The quantum computing research is done. Excellent. All right, that's one major step for us. Now, the question is, do we continue working toward the directed space research so we can get larger modules and try to ramp up our science production in space? Or do we go for quantum encryption and try to uh, go for a sixth counselor? Another counselor means more missions. Also, with all of my extra organizations, means some pretty massive investment bonuses and a lot more control caps so I can start taking more stuff on. We also, at some point, might want to consider going for something like a farm, uh, which I think would be under things like space agriculture over here. That would certainly make sense, but... That's something we'll come back to. That would help me reduce the maintenance on a lot of my big uh, satellites at some point. I think we continue with the plan for the directed space research, just so we can get our science ramping up even faster so that I can then turn all of that around and rush through quantum encryption. We need a sixth counselor, and everyone else is gonna get one too, but that's okay, because I'm using this stuff more effectively than the dumb AI. By the way, note that we do have like an extra two something investment points in the US now that all the armies have returned. Uh, either I am misreading this and this is just the impact of my advisor or sure enough, it's getting better. Oh, found the alien again. Excellent. Okay, repeat that mission. Don't lose sight of Xenoform Alpha 6. We've got to capture this sucker. Oh, we've also finished building out an outpost core and mining base over on Ceres. Excellent. So we should be seeing my water income skyrocket. Uh, yeah, by a lot. Wow, that's that's going to be absolutely beautiful. Um, Do we want to try setting up a construction module over here? It probably isn't strictly necessary, but it would be kind of nice to be able to take over the rest of Ceres if I need to. I need to remind myself, what else is on Ceres? Well, first off, the servants are here. That's not okay. There's a lot more water and a pretty okay-ish amount of volatiles. I don't feel like setting up a construction base over here is really that bad of an idea, if I'm completely honest. Ooh, our platform core has arrived at Mercury. Uh, did we actually finish prospecting on Mercury? I don't think we did. Anyway, so there's my core. So we're waiting now for the construction module to arrive in just a couple of weeks. No, about over a month. A little over a month. Okay. But this thing is going to arrive, and then we can build everything I'm going to want over here. All my wildest dreams are going to come true. So Mercury um, sites? No, the Prospector Probe has not yet arrived. Should be arriving soon, though. And I'm very curious to find out what's going to be here. Definitely almost no water, probably no volatiles. There might be a good amount of metal, but... I'm really not holding out hope for too many things over here. One good thing about Mercury, though, it is kind of nice that it's right next to the sun because if the aliens are all on the outer reaches of the solar system and all these little planetoids, that means in order to get to places like Mercury, they have to travel really, really, really far. So it's not a bad place to kind of set up some good defensive industry. That said, the surface of Mercury is supposed to be kind of radioactive and nasty. So, um, yeah, it has to have a lot of mass. Lots of lead built into any sites in order to build this up. All the more reason not to launch an outpost over here and instead use a construction module in orbit, which we've done. Now the probe has arrived. Okay, so what do we have in Mercury? Uh, at least one pretty good metal site. That's just about it, though. Good metal site over here as well. Yeah, there's, there's good base metals. If I want to make a ridiculous amount of base metals, setting up on Mercury is going to be the way to go. 
And I'm not really opposed, honestly. We might, we might do all of that. But ultimately, I think what I need is as much water and volatiles as possible. That's why I'm getting the construction module on Ceres. At some point, I think that might be worth it. The same might actually also be said about Mars, where most people have managed to set up bases over here. If I grab another site, it's not like it's worth an absolute ton, but it's just one more space we can kind of uh, deny to our enemies. So I'm going to go ahead and grab... Let's grab both, actually. I know that's crazy, but I've actually got some mission control to work with now, so let's uh, let's go ahead and found outposts on both. I'm taking these. So this means I have six of the sites on Mars. Could have grabbed a lot more, but to be honest, I grabbed the best sites. These were kind of like C-tier uh, sites for me to grab in the first place, so nothing outstanding, but at least I've got it. Hey, question. Doesn't Mars have, like, some moons? Oh, yeah. Phobos. Hello. Let's, um, let's launch some prospector probes over here and just see if there's anything else cool over this way. I should know that this Xenoform is going to be borderline impossible to kill. 19 security. I mean, stripping away at least a few of these orgs will help, but even has, like, the survivor and the hard target traits. This thing's going to be really nasty to capture. Something interesting to note about this particular alien has an organization called Salamander Shock Troops, which are unique to the aliens. I cannot steal it or get rid of it. Three security. What are salamanders, I wonder? I mean, these are hydras. What are salamanders? Oh man, the kind of questions that we gotta figure out. Oh, another alien has been identified over here in China. Uh, this seems like the sort of thing we don't want to lose track of. I need to find out what its security rating is. If this thing is a lot easier to kill, I'd rather just go get this thing. Ah, oh, and on Psyche, we now have an extra base set up. So this is gonna be worth a load of extra metals and noble metals. Very happy to see that. Uh, I don't think there are any other sites here, though. This is the best we're gonna get. I'm not gonna develop this any further. It exists just for raw resources. If it gets destroyed by the aliens someday in the future, that's sad, but ultimately not that impactful. Oh, a critical success on investigating the new alien. Beautimus, all right. So what do we learn? 17 security. Oh, you're not that much better, and you also have the salamander shock troops. Great. There's the directed space research tech. Okay. So with that, we should now have the access to much, much better labs at tier two stations. We'll take care of that in a minute. As far as the tech tree, um, let me think here. What do we want? Do we want to go? No, we said we wanted to go to space, uh, quantum encryption. Right, 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 right. Yes, that is top priority. Really would like to get myself a second one of these counselors. If you look over here, we need covert operations, and that comes from the quantum encryption tech. So, okay, that's our next big priority. With that, we'll definitely be able to get enough control points that I can take over a country like Mexico and start stabilizing it and making it prosperous in preparation for an American Union. And now Mercury has a construction module. All right, so this is going to make my life a whole lot easier. If we want to upgrade this thing into an orbital core now, we can. It only takes 54 days and no boost. Yeah, that's what we call a pretty good deal. So let's go ahead and get this sucker upgraded. I'm not going to worry about anything else right now because, well, we can't attach uh, most of the modules I care about until we get to Tier 2. But over Mercury, I do think we can go ahead and just found a few more orbitals. So we'll build these from space in low uh, Mercury orbit. Do one, and then two, and then three, I think. All right, so now we're going to have four of our uh, outposts, satellites, floating around in Mercury. I plan on setting up a lot of stuff on here. I also don't mind the idea of setting up at least one base over here. It's not like it's, like, great or anything, but, I mean, yeah, it's a pretty good amount of medals, and there's some noble medals and stuff as well. It's somewhat respectable, so let's go ahead and found an outpost. We should have access to a whole bunch of new research buildings now, including, by the way, the research campus, which is a fairly expensive building, um, very power-hungry. Probably would make some sense to set up on Mercury, since this doesn't give any sort of boost. But 100 extra science per month is nothing to sneeze at. That is, that is not half bad. Space Science Research Centers. Yeah, here we go. You can see this stuff does take a lot more power, but 
doubles up on your research benefits and it gives you uh, like three times more of a science booster for a particular category. So if you can get a bunch of these set up around Earth, that's not bad. Not to mention, look at that, a 6% boost in mission control priority. I love it. We got a lot of these available now, but we need to get the settlement core, unfortunately. This needs to be top priority because we need to get some new bases, tier two bases set up on Mercury. Ooh, but we did lose a point to um, the Protectorate in Kazakhstan. Also, there appear to be some pretty nasty aliens uh, attacking us in our territory here. Now, losing this wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but you can see I'm losing a lot of mission control as a result. I'm okay with losing the boost. It's not a huge deal if I lose this. I need to get that alien, um, but if we can also save Kazakhstan at the same time, I need to do that. Humans have arrived on Mercury. That's another boost of science and some influence. So that is our HAB module. Very soon we shall begin proper mining efforts. We are making a ridiculous amount of power over here. Yep, and I will be upgrading this thing to a tier two as soon as I am able. And there's the settlement core. That actually went by really, really fast. I love that. Okay, um, so what do we want next? You know, let me see. Is there anything here that would actually make it a lot easier for me to maybe kill an alien? I don't think that there is, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, no. What about, like, something here? We could get the Xenoscience Research Center. Set up a few of these in space. We'll be able to get a lot of this tech done fast, which will help me with some of my quest objectives. Also, more detection, which is nice. But the maximum benefit is still nine, so... Eh? Well, regardless, now that we have that base, uh, we need to go to Mercury and change this out to be a settlement core. And that should be completely fine because the construction module is good to go. So this is going to open up a whole load of new build slots, just like with the orbital satellites up above. I think a bunch of orbital cores just finished out over here as well. Oh, yes, they did. Okay. So now we have tier two stations in Mercury. Biotimus. So what I could do is now build out a whole load of these operation centers, which are going to get me more mission control than we are spending to set up these satellites. So, I mean, if you have like three of these. Now, of course, they cost a ridiculous amount of power, but that's why you have a solar array. 280 power is kind of a lot of power. So yeah, let's um, let's plan on setting up at least a couple of these suckers over here. The nano factory will be good as well. The reasons we've already talked about. In fact, technically, I could replace the construction module with these, and that would work out pretty nicely. Well, let's just go ahead and set up operation centers to start. Now these guys cost a lot of money. There's a lot of upkeep involved. So I can't do just this. I also have to build some nano factories to go along with it, which is fine. That's exactly what I plan on doing. Unfortunately, it does take a while to build these still. So yeah, we're gonna have to wait until May. But once I got this, I mean, my income's gonna like just get obliterated, but <laughs> we're gonna get so much more mission control, man. No, I promise this'll work. You know, it's actually a good thing that I've been failing in my assassination missions. I uh, realized, wait a minute, I'm not supposed to kill this thing. I checked the uh, actual goals for our objective here. We are supposed to capture one alive, and you know, I thought, hey, the assassination, I mean, maybe you just gotta like shoot it in one of its spots and then it resurrect itself, because we learned it can do that. No, no, no. I'm supposed to be doing the detain mission. Uh, whoops, okay. The good news is, with Mika, that's actually a little bit more likely to succeed, though admittedly, not very. However, one really important factor is we do now have another habitation module ready to go on Mercury, which of course means we need some more solar power. Yes, more solar power would be good. Um, I'm thinking maybe like two arrays might end up being enough, so we'll build a couple of these. I mean, it's a lot of power. If I, if I can't get away with just having two of those, I'll be shocked. We do want to get some nano factories up and running. Uh, these are going to require a lot of materials for monthly support, but nonetheless, I think it's going to be worth it. This should end up generating enough money to counteract the damage that will be made by all of these operation centers. The real problem is they take a long time to build. 270 days. Ouch. That is, uh, that is painful. Especially since these things will be operating for at least a few months, um, before any of that happens. Yeah, okay. 
We're gonna get, we're gonna go into the red for a while. I am predicting it now. We're gonna go into the red for a while. Whoa! Frick me! I got it first try. We captured a live alien, ladies and gentlemen. It is impossible to describe the sensation of gazing upon a creature from another world with one's own eyes. No words could adequately explain how uncanny it feels to see such a thing move and draw breath and turn its own unquestionably alien eyes upon us. All right, so um, cool. We have no idea how to speak to it. It's proving to be a little bit difficult, but we did successfully capture and imprison a Hydra. Awesome. So, uh, let's see, it's been moved to the containment facility. It is recovering from its injuries. We can see signs of regeneration. It's going to regain consciousness. Now we're trying to be able to talk to it, or at least, you know, interrogate it in some way. We need to learn the Hydra language. Okay. Oh, we should definitely get at least one Skunk Works. That is going to be important for me. Why? Not just because I like the extra faction research, but because down over here... As long as we build at least one, we gain access to another one of these science projects, which I think is well worth it. And here we go. This is going to end up being unbelievably expensive, but we're going to end up having a ton of operation sensors, nanofactories in space, and I will happily start building even more of these settlement hubs on Mercury, but I'll probably wait until at least some of these nanofactories are done because uh, I'm, I'm going to be in a lot of economical pain. An absolute ton of economical pain at some point soon. That said, for now, I think this is a good place to end this video. So a stronger European Union. We played for about one year in-game, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but there you go. We captured an alien, and we have arrived on Mercury. Now we are chunking through a load of other important research including the quantum encryption. Um, if I can find any way to boost this up a bit further, I will happily do so. It should be done as of this year, but it's going to slow down a lot of other projects to continue working on it, so we'll think. Maybe I can get some really nice research stations set up in orbit around Earth. I just need more mission control to pull that off. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.